That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I'm Amber and I'm with Third Eye Visions. Please like, share, subscribe to their channel. Today I am here to promote a project that I am working on called the Trades Win Project. I am working on this project through the Polis Center and pretty much during this over the summer a group of us blind and low vision individuals came together as a team to do this project where Pretty much we want to be able to highlight different people in professional, different professional fields, different low vision and blind individuals in different professional fields to show what we can do as low vision and blind individuals. So over the summer, we've been researching and interviewing a whole ton of people. And these interviews will appear on a podcast that will be featured on a website that we are working on at the moment. Um, as for the second part of this project, we are also going to be doing character profiles where we highlight uh, other different blind individuals and low vision individuals in different professional job fields as well. But except this is going to be a little bit more of a written biography as opposed to like an interview. Um, so that will be featured on our website as well. So we would love for people to uh, send a little bio about yourself, what field you're in, what made you kind of get into it, maybe a little bit about your vision and um, also um, a picture as well. So we can show a picture of you and any links to any kind of websites you may have or any links to find more information about you. That would be very, very helpful as well. Um, and yeah, and so like I said, everything is in the works as of right now. Um, the website, we are still working with the website creator of it. Um, so it won't be up until I believe either the end of this year or the early beginning of next year. So please stay on tune for a low lookout for that and be on the lookout for the podcast as well. The podcast will be featured on the website and all of that information will be all together. Um, so that's that. And as for me, my name on YouTube is Authentically Amber. And I actually, I am, um, uh, I am a gun violence survivor. Uh, about two years ago, I was involved in a near fatal traumatic incident that changed the entire trajectory of my life. And from there, I, that is what caused some part of my vision loss. Um, I had to go to rehab. I had to relearn how to do everything again. I almost lost my life. They, they told my parents that I, they didn't know if I would make it. And if I was to survive what I went through, um, that I would be a quadriplegic and in a vegetative state the rest of my life. And fast forward, I'm walking, I am talking, I'm doing everything. I had to get a tracheotomy. I have a little scar from that. I had to get a stomach and feeding tube. And not only had I been shot, but I was also, I had, in during the midst of everything, I had a stroke, I had fluid in the brain, I got pneumonia. Um, I had a blood clot, if I didn't mention that. I, I just, I was deprived of oxygen to my brain. Just so many different things kept happening, which is why the doctors assumed that I just would not be the same. And it was good that if they pretty much placed me in a long-term nursing facility, because I would just never make it out of it. And by the grace of God, I was able to overcome that. I did have to lose some of my vision and I do have a weak left hand. However, I'm in a much better space now. And now I just wanna use my platform to be able to promote my story as well as my healing journey and healing for others, as well as to be able to motivate others and, you know, just self love. Um, because, you know, all of this that happened to me, it, it was such a long journey and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it through. And not everybody gets through, uh, incident like that you know a lot of people they like 
that incident take over their lives and let it keep them down. And I didn't. I chose to take that negative situation and turn it into something positive to be able to help others. So now I do do motivational speaking. I go around to different schools, um, high school and middle school and in my area. And I do share my story and hopes that I can inspire and touch them as well. So, uh, like I said, please check out my YouTube channel where I can go a little bit more into detail about the story. And also there's probably a link from commission from the Bl Massachusetts Commission for the Blind where they wrote an article about me as well. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, uh, I really, truly appreciate all the love and support I could get from that. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to me and my YouTube channel name is Authentically Amber. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe and yeah. Okay.